That guy is Mikasan. So I haven't done a reaction to anything Honest Trailer related in a while. And this is Honest Game Trailers. It appeared in my recommended and I gotta admit when I saw it in the thumbnail and everything I was hit with a bout of nostalgia and anger at the same time. It's uh, Honest Game Trailers uh, little take on Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, the old PS2 classic, which it's never going to get the remake. It's like, at this point, yeah, I was, I was excited at first when it was announced, everything like that, then delays, they scrub it, do they scrub it, and I'm not expecting it. I'm not expecting it. At this point, I may as well just plug in my PS2, get the H comp composite, component, HDMI adapter, and just play the game. Just play my copy of the of the Tales of Time trilogy, and heck, I even got the uh, reboot, reboot series from the PS3, which, you know, I never, never uh, did the epilogue DLC. I beat the game before that came out. By that point, I but I already moved on. Okay, so yeah, but at the same time, still a great series because of that. Uh, for better and for worse, we got Assassin's Creed. For better because Assassin's Creed. For worse, it's because it pretty much ended the Prince of Persia games like that here, especially. It is sad, and Ubisoft it doesn't, doesn't at this point doesn't have any idea what to do. It's like just, just release it. I don't care if it doesn't if the character models don't look that good. Game as long as the gameplay works great here, as long as the boss battles are good, the time mechanics are good, I can overlook easily overlook if the character models if they're Faces look like claymation or whatever. I don't care. That's the problem. P people these days are worried more, so much more about graphics and look how pretty this rock looks in ray tracing over the fact that the ground is stable enough so I don't, is solid enough where I don't just fall through the framework and into the endless abyss. <sighs> Another watch this. It's rated S for spoilers. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's an ancient game, like what's the thing for anymore? Oh, they knife, they new one, huh? They how long they had this one? Yo, known for always releasing games on time. <laughs> a classic title in which you control time itself, which was as long so as you have much sand. They announced a reboot in 2020. Only and yeah, reboot and just full on make a new one. Oh, which is yeah, definitely coming out in January. Ha! Like they promised it would, right, guys? Ah. Uh, Guys, I got lots of lost crown. I'm in the fall for the house, lost crown, but I'm interested. But journey into the mystical world of a real life Middle Eastern country, as imagined by a bunch of French weirdos, where all the men are British, all the wealth of India, even the women are sex slaves. I but mean, the that was the time. Say anything too bad by today's standards. You're a skinny little thing. Look, 2003 was a different time, okay? We were all still reeling from the events of the original Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah! Yeah! How was he read the new Haunted Mansion, by the way? I've never seen that. That I missed it on theaters. He navigates a disaster of his own making. Yeah! When he's tricked because, yeah, let's... Evil dude. Yeah, dude, forget your far! Magical knife but then again, magical hourglass, that was the whole point. Which turns his dad. And also everyone else, but mostly his dad, into a raging sand zombie. Yep. Now, the Car with a bitch. Who can save the day are the prince, this hot princess our dad kidnapped, yeah. and this guard giving the voiceover performance of his life. Ride the platform down to the bottom, then use those two cranks to bring What the heck is that voice? The second you finish the puzzle. Yep. Honestly, if the sand didn't get him, I would have. 
Do you have any mm -hmm. idea how hard it is to look up how to solve a puzzle on Game Facts while some guy is screaming in your ear about the accursed demons? Servos, accursed demons, right? I don't remember that guy at all. Maybe that's a good thing. I remember the the platforming and all the times I died. And other impressive gymnastics. Like I, yeah. Eerily similar to another modern classic, and the Gollum developers actually said the game would be like Prince of Persia. Oh. But these moves yep, have I mean, more sense for an athletic prince yeah. than for a crouching cave pervert. Exactly. Besides, there's plenty to differentiate the two games. For example, Prince of Persia has better graphics. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Yep. Wonder at the magic. That's so good to stay in age. age. As you undo fatal oopsie whoopsie. Yeah. But you do a lot of that here. By drinking water straight out of the ground and experience mystical was... visions every time you save. Which you'll try your best to glean any information from. While someone has an asthma attack just off camera. And that's how you... <laughs> asthma attack. What, did they not have albuterol in ancient Persia? No. Spin like a drunk blender in Prince of Persia's combat. As you become a whirling dervish. Oh god, yeah, we did. I did a lot of that. That was... You're taking beginner capoeira classes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone did that. That's fantastic. That was awesome. Monstrosity. It was the easiest way to kill these bastards. Fierce warriors to vicious um. wildlife to the straight up scandalous. Then explore the infuriating mechanics of the time dagger as you deal. Finish they got uh, to finish to uh, replenish the sand. Your enemies down. That will have and we're sand, yeah. Training them for their sweet time juices to keep mm -hmm. up your powers. All yeah, of course. course. That you don't get surrounded and get the shit kicked out of you. What the heck? In gameplay, that will force you to use your wits and situational awareness just to avoid wasn't always that, over the battle. Wasn't that, that easy? As long as one you actually have the attention span for. It's just really nice of them to wait for you patiently as you gank all their friends. Yeah, pretty You're much. So polite. That was a, that was time back then. Time to connect with Pharaoh, who's the. I mean, back in ancient Egypt, ancient Persia, by the way. Fight, and definitely They're... knows what a scarab looks like. And who has a chemistry with the prince that rom-coms can only dream of. Oh, they're just like Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey in the other most important release of 2003. Of course, I don't after the know. Prince, trust issues his way out of an easy victory. Now you want me to trust you. Farah has to pilfer Oh, just do it. By, uh, pilfering his knife. Hey, she nearly died in a tomb because of this yeah. guy and then immediately got naked. You've got to respect the hustle. Yeah. So right, the prince deserves it. Dagger and get ready to mess with the past in a story about the most irresponsible time traveler since Philip J. Fry. <laughs> Won't that change history? Oh, <laughs> for this episode. Changing history. <laughs> Bro, for Mr. I'm my own grandpa. And though it doesn't Screw history! Modern gaming standards, it's still a classic for a reason and a ton of fun. Oh, yeah. And I can't wait for Ubisoft to finally release the remake. Ha! <laughs> Did it sound like I really think that they're actually making a remake? <laughs> I almost... I mean, yeah. Wow. Starring, Starring. Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> Paul Farah in Love and War. Paul Farah, okay. Jafar. Man, Jafar Bingo. Dearest, yep. Human cockatiel. And another round of applause for this guy. A real MVP. <laughs> the Time Traveler's Knife. You know it's revealed in the end that the person he's narrating the game to is Farah herself? Makes you wonder if he included the sex scene in his telling of the story. Oh, yes, and then we had the most pleasurable night you've ever experienced. You told me you've never been with anyone like me before. That definitely happened. Yes, I'm totally British. Comment below on what you Yeah, yeah, yeah the, it was the, the prince was narrating, and every time you died, something like that here, like, no, 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 that's not how it happened. Let's, let's go back, something like that. Ah. Uh, again. Yeah, 2003 was the time when. Actually, the comments they said would fit in the society here, especially like uh, sex slaves. I'm. S I know it's a touchy subject here, but that was a thing back then. It's like when a, a, a kingdom army beat another kingdom here, they take the people to essentially a slave. Slavery was common back then. Uh, so every time it's brought up, like, oh my god, they actually did that. Yes, yes, they were being his. They were being. Is accurate to the time period. It's like have it's like having a a game set during um the the, the whole eighteen hundreds America in in the South here and not at all in 
acknowledging or having the slaves. Slaves there, like in the background or something like that. Because, oh, no, no, you got to get to that. No, no, it shouldn't be a thing. Like, that was a thing, unfortunately. It's like, don't go pussyfooting and just ignoring historical facts just because they're icky now. Just because we, we can't take the truth. That's the problem with it back then. <laughs> but yeah, like, going back here for the Persia, oh my god, yes. The, the, the poor Corbin can go off him, but it was a lot of times that you think you got it right. Nope, you ended up dying, and it just so happens you have ran out of sand. You ran out of time sand to undo the mistake. Oh god, a lot of retries here. And Gollum copied, I did not know that, Gollum copied Prince of Persia. They were, well, at least they admitted. And the Lost Crown. Uh, I'm looking forward to Lost Crown. I mean, it's something new. It's, at least it's something. At least it's something uh, re bringing back in some fashion one of their long, long, dormant, near-death IPs. And uh, so I'll take it. And yeah, the, the prince being all having trust issues in the end. Just put the knife! Although, you shut the fuck up and listen to her. Even if that kills you, you kind of deserve it. You kind of deserve to die for what you've done. And yeah, uh... We look, uh... Trying to find the clips where they showed uh, whatever images of you know the re this whole the remake. Again, people complain about this because oh, it looks terrible. Just accept what we're getting. I don't, I don't, I did not, from Ubisoft, I did not expect, like, RE2 remake levels, okay? I expected something. At the very least, like, a fresh coat of paint on the game here, but still play more than exactly, exactly like the first game. So, I liked what, so what we see here is like, uh, oh, it looked awful. I don't care about looks. Why are you so, why are you guys such a, why do people have such a stick with frosted? So far, up their anuses, I'm just gonna say it here, over graphics. I, show me the gameplay. Does it play good? Can I, can I walk two steps without falling through the world? That's what matters. That, but people care so much about the, the a look and stuff like that, that people care more about that here. Like, they care about Gabe looking pretty than being stable than anything else it's the point where oh uh it just oh it, it looks pretty it looks pretty so it's good to go oh uh it freezes oh you you constantly fall to the world uh checkpoint is uh terribly placed we'll fix that in a patch yes well don't worry we'll patch that in in a couple of months yeah that's what that's what the modern gaming community is like here and partially that's fueled by uh, gamers and critics complaining about the looks department. Nowadays, it's all about graphics and stuff like that here, where, yeah, like, okay, oh, this PS2 remake looks like a PS3 game. And for P P PS4 and PS5. I'll take that. I will goddamn take that over nothing. As long as it's good, as long as it's a solid game. <sighs> I don't know. So yeah, this just really makes me makes me want to uh, play for the person of time here. Experience the good, the bad, the ugly, and still have a great time with it. I still remember a good time. We played a bunch of times, and 
And even the sequels, I remember having a good time. People complain about the two thrones, like uh, how it was a glitchy mess, something like that. Here, some issues. I don't recall any of those issues whatsoever, and I beat the game in its entirety. I remember the prince when he finally get the supposed item and he becomes like that sand creature that supposedly was following him around or something. In reality, no, it was him. Of course, I didn't know about the other like uh, side story games that... Either way. <sighs> uh. huh? So yeah, everyone, um... Thank you for watching. This was a nice trip down memory lane. I gotta find my copy. I know it's somewhere. I know it's stored somewhere. I just gotta gotta retrieve it. Put it on display. So uh, come to all you all thought. Let's for more videos. Till next one. This is Maxon logging out.